Boy, the people at the Chicago Sun Times are having a lot of trouble today. They did. They were, we're going to see a story in a minute about a a cop who shot one of the fellas in South Chicago, caused a lot of razzle dazzle, largey bargey, a lot of it. So the Chicago Sun Times first blush of the story was, "Ah, uh, yeah, this guy, this uh, cop shot one of the fellas for no reason whatsoever." But so far, all we have is peaceful protests. Well, that lasted about 20 minutes before they had to change that story. I mean, this is the day after story, right? Then one of their ace reporters, he starts tweeting about it and taking videos of it. He started tweeting about it saying, oh, yeah, the cops are here. The cops caused the riot. So why don't we do things a little bit backwards? Why don't we look at the, the actual shooting? that caused all the grief in Chicago on Saturday night. And then we're gonna see we're gonna see the actual cop cam, right? Then we're gonna go out to the hood. We're gonna go out with the fellas. We're gonna go into the community. We're gonna see an unbelievable amount of denial, deceit, delusion, how everybody's got the script memorized now. He was a nice kid, didn't never did anything. And the cops shot him for no reason whatsoever. So let's look at the news report. Let's look at a few minutes of riots. Then we'll come back and wind it up. Good morning. Police say the man that was shot and killed last night not only had a gun on him, but also two ammunition magazines. Now, police say this all started when four to five officers on a foot patrol near 71st walked up to the man because they thought they noticed that he had a gun. When they approached him, he pushed, tried to push their hands away, started flailing and swinging, uh, swinging away, trying to uh, make his escape. And as he was making his escape, reached for his weapon. Chicago police say one officer fired several shots, hitting and killing the man who people in the neighborhood say is in his mid-30s and a barber. After the shooting, large crowds gathered near 71st and Chappelle. Police tried to move them back. At least four protesters were arrested. Three to four officers had some minor injuries. According to the Tribune, protesters were throwing glass bottles and water bottles full of urine at them. The Civilian Office of Police Accountability, or COPA, is investigating. Police do believe there is body camera footage of the confrontation. There were several people in the vicinity when the shots were fired, and they have a different version of what happened. They say, sir no selling cigarettes he said i'm not selling any squares i'm just getting off of work i work at the barber shop right here when he turned around to walk off from there because they was harassing him they shot him <laughs> So I was looking at the nail shop right here on the fire, and I was sitting on the corner waiting for my Uber to come. And next thing you know, I see this older man walk in the middle of the street behind a police car. The man was reaching for his cigarettes, and they jumped out and shot the man in his back. They left him on the scene for 15 minutes until the ambulance arrived. He was dead already. They tried to perform CPR on him, but he was already dead. They didn't cover him up. They didn't do nothing. They left that man in that street like that for about 15 minutes. There's a lot of riot video out there from this 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 uh, this this business from Saturday night. You know, my favorite piece of rioting video in Chicago 
came from a place called, I think it's called The Yard, south of The Yard, something like that. Same kind of deal. Uh, five guys stole a, a car. They stole stuff from the truck. They're getting chased by the cops. Exchange gunfire. Somebody gets, four get away, one gets killed. All of a sudden, there are hundreds of people out on the street repeating things that aren't true, spreading rumors. But my absolute favorite piece of video out there is, it, I don't have it anymore, but a guy goes, hey, let's just charge them. They can't shoot all of us. And so that's the def that's like the you know the automatic knee jerk response now. Anytime a cop is shot, all the fellows and their lovely ladies come out of the house to blame it on white racism. You're shooting our kids. The guy was like 38 years old, had a gun, two magazines for the gun. You're shooting our kids. Keep stop shooting our kids. Fact is, when a per black person walks out of a house in Chicago, he's like a hundred times more likely to be shot by another person than a cop couldn't get one person in Chicago media to acknowledge that today because talking about this ridiculous level of black criminality, the ridiculous danger we put cops in in Chicago, well, you know that makes the black kids angry.